John. Hey guys, what's up? YMBG Jesus here with our uh, our actually our only second uh, tutorial on some Xbox mods and things you can do around the house. The first one was the hard drive mod. If you got the Xbox 360 Slim with the 4 gig hard drive, I showed you how to use your old hard drive for the traditional Xbox 360 and how to uh, hook it up inside your Slim. Um, this video, I'm going to show you the paperclip mod. Um, there's a couple videos on YouTube already. Um, and they're all really terrible, um, and a couple of them are squeakers, and I hate squeakers, and I hate listening. So I'm going to go ahead and make my own. Um, here, I'll show you what it is. Um, if you look, that's a trigger pull. Um, this will help you shoot faster. Um, it's not as effective as an actual modded controller. But it's free, and you will notice a difference. Here's a regular controller. You have to pull it all the way down. So if you're using a semi-automatic weapon, that's shooting. On the modded controller, you can shoot a lot faster. Um, I play COD, Gears, uh, all all the big games, and uh, in Gears it really helps with the hammer burst. Um, I've been called a modder a couple times. People get pretty upset about it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how. To, what, um, first thing, remove battery pack, derp. Um, go ahead and remove the screws. I will show you where the screws are right now. There's one here, one here, one here. Um, there's one under the warranty sticker I can show you on this controller. This is your warranty sticker. You'll have to remove that and the screw is right under it. Right here. Then same on the other side, those three. After you move that, the controller will come in half. And let me go ahead and do that real quick to this controller. Um, I already have, I've, mod I've modded it, but the paper clip has, uh, its strength, so I'm going to remod it for you guys. So I'll go ahead and do that real quick and uh, show you guys what the inside looks like. All right, got all my screws out. I'm going to go ahead and pull the controller apart. Um, what I do is I grab by the uh, chat port here and then on the top where you put your plug and play, and then grab by the battery tray and wiggle it. It'll come apart like that. Um, you can see my uh, original paper clip right there. I'll go ahead and zoom in for you. Um, and it's kind of lost its strength and I think it might even be split in half. So it's not really doing its job anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and remove it and I will show you how to bend a new one to get it to stay in. Just got to get this out. Alright, let me bend up a new uh, paper clip and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I got the spring bent. Um, it's going to be like what you see, and right now you're telling me you don't see shit, and I would tend to agree with you. Um, this took forever. It took longer than the first time, and I'm not really sure why. Um, but it was harder than hell to get this thing bent the way it was supposed to. Um, and I'm going to kind of show you how I did it. Um, so you guys can try to replicate it. I'll set this here so I can refer back to it. But here's your paper clip. Um, so you're going to need a paper clip. You're going to need some pliers and you're going to need some common fucking sense because this will piss you the hell off and if you're stupid it's going to be even harder. So common sense, patience, and a paper clip. So I started by unfolding it like this um, and I kind of I left this end the way it is and I fed it up through this hole. You can see the hole it's coming out of right here. Feed it up through that, use the pliers and get it to go under the trigger like that. So when you pull the trigger it stops it. I'll just let you see this. Rumble packs are falling, oh no. So you're gonna bend it up through the hole right here and go through right here, out the other side, get this rumble back out of the way, out the other side of the trigger and fold it down like that and that will hold it in. Then the other end, you use your pliers and twist, you're going to have it like this and you're going to twist 
and you're going to have that bent part and then I unbent it right here. You can see where I unbent it and fold it around and then use your pliers and twist and make it kind of hug this side of the trigger frame right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure the paper clip doesn't move when you're whaling on it with a trigger. Um, if you need like help, message me or comment below and I can uh, try to explain it a little bit better. But I'll run through it one more time. You're going to come up through this hole. So you'll have it like this. And then you'll use the pliers and you're going to bend it through here. And then make a 90 degree bend right there. With your other end, you're going to use your pliers and make a bend this, this way. And then use your pliers, unfold the thing, and then it's going to come straight out like this and then make another 90 degree bend to close it off here. And that's going to keep it tight, keep it from not moving. Um, if you have a hot glue gun, um, hot, glue gun or hot glue is safe to use with electronics, it's non-conducive. Um, so if it would be easier, you can set this down. You can take this paper clip and cut it in half right at that second bend with this. And you can come up through here, do your bends like you're supposed to. Um, use the second half, bend it down this way, and put a bead of hot glue right here on the tip. I should get a little closer. So you'll come up through the top go through here like you're supposed to, bend it down at 90 degrees. You could put a bead of hot glue on the side um, and then come down here and put a bead of hot glue right here. It's safe and uh, do it that way. I don't have any hot glue so this is, this is what I got. Um, so there we go. I'll get some gameplay footage of up of kinda the effect this has versus stock. Um, here we go. Damn it!